Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to To The Moon. Um, I was finding the pieces, and now, as promised, I'm going to look at some of the notes. So, first thing I want to do, someone John and River cared for. Yes, thank you. Anya. Paper Rabbit, what River gave to John for River. A song Johnny wrote for his deceased wife. Its title is a placeholder. Moon. Objective. The moon is Johnny's memory is full. Is Johnny's memory is full. In Johnny's memory is full. Oh. The moon in Johnny's memory is full. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little scattered. Fuck. Brain. That jazz. The clocks in Johnny's house never tick. Huh. Items. Yeah. Room key. Toy platypus and paper rabbit. Senior Memory Traversal Agent Sigmund Corp. Alright, well, that's that. <coughs> Alright. Let's keep it going. Hadouken! Every time. Every, every time. Alright, we're gonna do this in, like, way too many tries. Uh... Got it on the first try at the right, correct number of tries and bounce. All right, so I think first it was the rabbit, then the umbrella, now the flowers. Finally, fuck you, Watts. Oh, oh, um. Oh. <laughs> There's an arrow. Huh. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. Oh. Who we have here? It's the house. Uh huh. Unless the house they were talking about previously was a different house. Or this is significantly further away. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. Watts, you're a dick! Fuck you. Watts, piece of garbage. Jerk. Alright, here he is. <laughs> Alright, what's up, John? What do you got for me today? Uh huh. Isabel, Nick called and said I should come. brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Oh. What? Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills... Hmm. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. You can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. <clears throat> She's going to be heartbroken. Money is a vice. Fuck. Money. Fuck money. Money from fucking. That would be really dirty. Yeah. Dirty money. money is ridiculously dirty. Screw money. Trading everything to Bitcoin. Hashtag Bitcoin. I want hashtag Bitcoin spelled out on the on the screen every time I say hashtag Bitcoin. So Don't it should be three it. times. Don't ever do it. It's three times, Blake. That's fine. That it's that it says hashtag Bitcoin. Boom. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I didn't start my time again. No! Ah my watch. Uh, okay. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. Oh my. What are you going to do now? 
I'm I'm going to tell her that we can that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand as well. If she found out, I'm not sure what she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. If that's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, I'm not... Am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. I'm Joseph Joestar. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff and bring it back to her. I'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're go what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give the give you this. Oh, music box. He he said it's called Everything's Alright. Blake just gave me a look in the back of the room like, yup, you fucking know it. Have you ever heard this song, Nathan? Yes, Blake. It's on my fucking iPod. When it rains outside and I'm like in the car as a passenger and it comes on, I just stare out the window and be like, Oh, yeah, the olives are the thing this time. Let's see if there's anything down here that I can pick up. It's really interesting seeing someone's memories from a reverse standpoint. Like, they know everything that's happened, and you know everything that's going to happen up until a certain point. And it's interesting going back and seeing this whole scenario. Like, seeing everything that led up to this point, but in reverse order. I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, nah, we're um, going this way. Mm, let's see, where are we? Yeah. So we have to go all the bloody way to his childhood. Oh, the truck was one. Okay, maybe we can go into the house, maybe. Oh. The hammer. The hammer. Let's go back up there. Will it take me all the way there this time? Woo! Yes, it will. Mm. Thank you, clicks. And all that jazz. Hmm. Oh, damn. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just... This song is some heavy stuff, and I'm not gonna lie, it, at one point it did make me cry, but that was before I knew anything about the song, and I, and I actually don't know anything about... No. I just thought it was sad. So... so Shows how tough I fucking am, you know? Alright. Uh, sheets. Uh, 
Eggs. Eggs. No! Eggs, no, come back. It hurts physically. <laughs> God damn it. What is the answer? What is the answer? No. Oh wait. Yeah, got it. 21 shies. 21. Mm. No, pickled olives. Yeah. There we go. Next. Alright, even further back. Good. <sighs> so you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep. Construction starting in a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make it we'll make do. How wonderful. Having, a, having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. <laughs> you had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? Oh, I bet that's going to be a plot point. That's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a... at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, ya too. Hey, cheers. Where are the damn olives again? Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Looks like a tavern. Almost. Yeah, silhouette people in the background. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few sites nowadays? That river, still so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talkative at home. I'm with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. So, I'm the bad guy here, huh? <coughs> oh, hey. So, did you tell River that thing from back then? No, 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 no. That thing from back then? Yeah, no, man, no. Nah. That, that's not... It's not vague enough. You need to be more vague. Hey, did you did you tell River? That's about as vague as you need to be. I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. That's just what the government wants you to think. <laughs> it's a long story. But never mind, I'll shut up. Origami rabbits. Yeah, lots of them. I used to fold origami rabbits for my daughter all the time. I fold origami ninja stars, but that's because I'm a spaz. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Shut up, Blake. Just because it's true doesn't mean you need to point out the fact that it's true. I don't think it's the same thing. So something happened, and since then she's been folding origami rabbits. She's been doing nothing but make the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. <sighs> Didn't Isabel say that something like that is common is a common trait with River's condition? So she has a mental condition? Yes, but something just doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. The strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes, she said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Great. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're not noto you're notorious for overthinking. Hey, just like me. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. 
Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. I'm always right, John. I'm home. Marmite, what are you doing? I'm sleeping with your wife, John. Yeah. You are. Marmite is terrible. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits. We've got bigger problems. Let's go. <gasps> Yawn. It's a confined memory, and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Wait, what? Okay. Let's do that, then. Bartender, hey there! Can I get you anything? Hey, oh, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash credit. Cache. Check. No, check. Er, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab, then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? Fuck! You're so getting res resetted, bitch. <laughs> hey there, can I get you anything? Hello, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. Such an ass, Neil. I'll loosen up. Okay. I don't even know if there's anything you need. Uh, I guess we'll talk to him. Why is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah. Are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure! Why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah. That sounds just swell. Give a disabled taste simulation now. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> I'm so gonna get you back from this. Sometime later. So that's how we got our first toaster. <laughs> uh, you okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time, we've got two bottles left. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so I said, hey, that's not right. They totally agreed. That's the story. <laughs> and you know what else is wrong, society today? No! Tell me! What's wrong with society today? Why won't you tell me? <laughs> yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? Nah, yeah, see it? Eh, okay. Here it is. And freeze! Tokyo Tomorrow! Can you can you edit in a Tokyo Tomorrow there when she said freeze? Please? And bring you some milk. Please. I'd like to point out, he said please, and at the same time <laughs> flipped me off. <laughs> Blake, please. Remember to reset, I'll be back. What was the other thing you asked for? Uh, Tokyo Oh, I thought you asked for something else. Milk. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> How are the olives, Neil? Shut your mouth. You got what you deserve, Neil. Fuck you, Neil. Boink. Wait, don't you dare. Hadouken! Don't worry, sheesh. It's okay, I got you. See? I'm doing it by the books. Hadouken! 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 Hulk smash! Thank you. <laughs> Neil, seriously. <laughs> I'm trying to get this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. 
sometimes, if you have fun with your job, if you have fun while you're at work, it's never wor- oh. uh. Uh. First try! What is this thing? Yeah. Boop. Boop. Oh. Oh, hey, she was a redhead. Huh. Interesting. And it's the astral clock tower. <coughs> um, the lighthouse. Yeah. Whoa. Crikey nutcrackers. Are you serious? Like, seriously? You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Well, I don't know about 20 billion nanometers, but you're not on a flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear if this place... Peace, bitch. Evo, what the fuck? Wait, F, U, C, K, yeah. Good shit. Wuss, basically. So he's gonna do a superhero landing! Superhero landing! Wait for it! Aw. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed. By ships, I mean. You know how it is now that they... Now, now, you know how it is now that everything has GPS and all that. Fuck, what's wrong with me? Oh shit, we need to conclude soon. Danke, Shane. Whoa. Yeah, sorry. Look, River. Filling things in the dark, man. Yeah, the dark. This place means a lot to me, too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. If we save well in a few years, <clears throat> we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a large size of... We'd be able to see her from the window. <laughs> what if Anya is the fucking lighthouse? In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And and we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. Hugs. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Isn't that just... Superhero landing! Yeah! Superhero landing! Good for them. Uh, we're gonna sink in case shit happen. One, two... One, two, one, two. Okay, just checking. Because we, we use a thing that does stuff, and when I'm loud, it does a thing. That's how you be vague. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the memories leading to it. Yeah, fuck you, Watts. The important thing is that over the, here, they're happy. Let's move on. Is this one? No, I didn't have a thing. Right, move faster, would you? Okay, so let me see. Oh, hey, sweet. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Hey, I was right. And then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse. Isn't that a bit too extreme? You've seen stranger things in the course of the job. We've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh. I can never wrap my head around it. That's because you're a bitch, Watts. It's not your business anyways. She's not our client. Note, Anya. The lighthouse. Oh. 
Wait, follow them. Follow them. Stalk them. No. Never mind. Wait. Go back. I'm just a spaz, I guess. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Keep looking for things. Keep clicking buttons. Here's an arrow. Maybe this will give us another... Hey, there we go. Let's find the thingy. Oh. Um, it's an actual rabbit? Huh. Hang on real quick. I wanna... Technician specialist. Okay. There's no scroll. Anya. The abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside. Well. Whatever. Let's prepare this memento and continue on our journey! Paper Rabbit. Activation. Boom. Let's keep going. River? Boink. Yellow paper rabbit. Dear Lord, not again. Shut up, Watts! You stupid jerk off. Watts. Watts. You. You. What are you, a thing in a light bulb? Watts. A piano. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really, you can't even get it through its door. T mm, true. Is that a, is that a uh, Doctor Who reference? I yeah. feel like it is. The TARDIS is the thing they used to travel everywhere. The phone booth. Yeah. I never really got into that, unfortunately. Sorry to any Whovians in the audience. I can't. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. That got really meta. Hmm. Not the kind of me episode they were probably talking about. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me either. It sounds pretty epic. Epic. It's a piano. What the fuck? Oh, what is this? <laughs> New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh, I think I know where this is going. Do you? Oh, she's making more rabbits. Went out for a haircut this early in the morning. What are you making there? Rabbits. You see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. It's yellow and made of paper. Um, it was yellow. What else? Oh, a bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. 
Is something wrong? River? So this is when it happens, huh? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I've just been in this place before. Higher on the streets. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. Okay, do share. You think she's... do you? Perhaps, who knows. Stop being so vague. But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Let's look at the platypus again. Many long strands of orange hair. Oh, she cut her own hair. So this is the day she started it, huh? Show you can! I'm terrible. Oh wow, we've been going on for quite some time. Alright, it is. Unless... Yeah, oh, whatever. This is either going to be on time or a very long episode. So... Whatever. Guess we'll find out. We'll find out! Next time! Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Actually, in this case, you can probably find out just by looking at the time on the video. I mean, uh, for the people watching it. Boop. Did it boopy. Bam. Bam. Slum. You better turn the mic away from the computer. Or the you. Hey, how you doing, little mama? Let me whisper in your ear. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He completed the rest of that line because you wouldn't be able to hear it. Oh. Okay. That's not whispering on the other side of the room. Oh. Um, alright, we're going to, uh, conclude for right now, because this has either been a really long episode or double length or whatever. But, um, we'll see you next time on To The Moon. So until then, stay interesting.